Hello everybody and welcome to part two of our uh, set of uh, binary options experiments. Um, I'll try and make this a short video. It's essentially a continuation of our uh, first experiment and this time what we're trying to do is we're trying to establish uh, the bars on the left which indicate uh, what percentage of people have voted a particular way uh, for a trade. Um, I've noticed that these don't seem to be getting refreshed often. So what I did is I went to um, one trade uh, trading platform, binary option trading platform. I went to Trade Rush and I just picked um, the set of uh, current uh, foreign exchange indices. And I noticed that um, each of these trades are currently active. Uh, for the top one, Euro to US Dollar, there's about 2 minutes and 20 seconds left. Um, about a minute and 20 left for the other two, the US Dollar to the Japanese Yen and the US Dollar to the Canadian Yen. Um, and notice that these options have not yet expired, which means I still have the ability to call and put for each of these trades. However, um, we notice that the percentage of people that are on either side, as indicated on the left, these values don't seem, be, don't seem to be changing, even though the graphs and the current values that are represented over here um, can change. For example, this value euro to the US dollar changed right now. So let's, uh, for the sake of example, focus on the very top trade, euro to the US dollar, because it has the most time left. Um, I still have the option to call or put, but I notice that the percentage of people, even though it says 71% of people have called and 29% of people have put, one, I don't know when this data was collected. Um, this particular graph that they've shown here in the middle um, shows times from within the last 30 minutes uh, to the next expiration time. And um, I have no idea at what point in time the spread was 71% to 29%. Now it is still possible that um, this is reflecting current data, but um, no matter how many people are uh, are betting in which direction they're putting, the spread seems to still be 71% to 29%. That is technically possible, though note that the values for the for those displayed for the US dollar to the Japanese yen don't seem to be changing either. They're still 56%. Um, 44%, 58%, 42%, and the top is still 71% to 29%. We note that it hasn't changed. So what we're getting at right here is that um, I still have 32 seconds to go ahead and make this trade, but I don't have any idea as to when 71% people decided to call and 29% of people decided to put. Right now the value is 1.30842, but there's really no indication to suggest that if this was the current value, 71% of people would decide to call from here on out. And therefore, if I use this spread to make my uh, trade placement, I may be using outdated or incorrect information. And um, I think that's the objective of this experiment. Note that we, we actually observed all three of these uh, indices for a, a significant amount of time, but these uh, the values of the spread didn't exactly change. So we notice that this option expires in about 3 minutes and uh, 43 seconds. And um, now since this trade is off, even though the value is currently changing, none of the values on the left changed. And I think that that's um, suspicious. I'm going to go ahead and try and um, redo this on the next subsequent trade and we'll see what we get. So I'm just going to pause recording the video and uh, I'll return to it very soon. Hey guys, I've uh, recorded the video after a moment, a momentary uh, time skip. I'm continuing it. There's about 22 seconds left for each of these things to expire. And uh, what I'm specifically looking at is to see when the information that's provided to us, the information on the basis of which uh, we're supposed to make our decisions, other than the actual value, um, when this information changes. Specifically, um, we see the times um, highlighted for each of the trade, and we see the spreads, especially on the left, we see 71%, 29%, and uh, these options have expired. And notice that the graph now changed. Um, it changed from before it was uh, 6 and 6.30, um, and I think these are uh, GMT times. Um, notice now the graph is switched, so pretty soon it's reloading the data. This is good. Let's see if it loads it quickly it reloaded data and the spread is still the same. The spread for the Japanese yen to the US dollar has changed. It's 71% to 29%. Um, the data for the US dollar to the Canadian dollar is still loading.
I wonder if it normally takes this long. While the while the data for the U.S. dollar to the Japanese yen did reload, um, the data for U.S. dollar euro to the U.S. dollar did not reload, or the data just happens to be the same. However, having reloaded, um, let's take the let's give them the benefit of the doubt. For the U.S. dollar to the Japanese yen, it did reload, but it doesn't seem to be loading after that. So my understanding based on this, and I will come back to do a deeper analysis, but my understanding is this. Um, one, at any given time um, when one comes in to make one's trade, one has no indication as to what what snapshot or what instance in time the spread is based off of. Two, um, I don't think they have a timely refreshal of the spread. I think that the spread is given A based on some previous instance and giving them the benefit of the doubt. I think this instance is at uh, maybe the basis of the previous trade because this option is the next option but they refreshed the spread before this option like I don't even have the ability to make this trade yet um, I mean I do but uh, it's still there's still a lot of time before it expires um, the countdown hasn't even started yet so what I'll do is I'll give it another couple of minutes and um, if this uh, spread doesn't change for the US dollar to the Japanese yen and I think it's safe to assume that the spread isn't going to change, um, period. In other words, it's a one-time snap. And um, when the snap is taken, does not necessarily coincide with when we jump in to make our trade. Um, and I think that's, that's a very dangerous. Given this information, it's very dangerous to try and utilize the majority vote strategy to make our trades. And I'm sorry, I think um, since I didn't have any time to actually prepare this video, I'm doing everything in live time. I was pretty inarticulate, but I hope you've got the gist of what I'm trying to say. Um, to summarize it in a sentence, I think that the information that they provide for us with respect to which we may utilize the majority vote strategy, I think that information, um, this experiment casts severe doubts on the reliability of this data and um, definitely casts doubt on the freshness of this data. Thank you very much.